We're here at Harvard to chat with Dr. Raj Chetty about the work he and his team are doing to show why and how zip codes actually matter. There's this idea that, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter where you live, you know, you just work hard, pull yourselves up by your bootstraps, and and you have just as much chance as anyone else. What has your research said about this? Well, that's certainly the myth of the American dream. Dr. Chetty and his colleagues at Opportunity Insights have used anonymized tax returns tracked over decades to prove that the zip code where a person is born all but determines their life's trajectory. It seems to be a lot going on here. There is a lot going on, as you said, but it's really quite simple. It's kind of showing you where the opportunity is in America. Let's go to Seattle. These red-colored patches that we're seeing here, what we're seeing here is if you grew up as a kid in a low-income family, a family making, say, around $30,000 a year, you yourself as an adult are making something like $24,000 a year. But if I go up here to some of these areas, you know, north of the city, that number jumps up to 42,000. I mean, let me take you to a very different city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here's incarceration. The fraction of kids that grow up to be incarcerated, there are some shockingly high rates in parts of Milwaukee. Like, see that one there? 16% of kids growing up in low-income families there were incarcerated on a single day. 